In the sleeper agent's paper, Anthropic showed that once a model exhibits deceptive behaviour, standard techniques could fail to remove such deception and create a false impression of safety. A few weeks ago, they released a research update they named Simple Probes Can Catch Sleeper Agents, where they showcase activations-based defection detectors, which use linear features identified in the transformer residual stream to classify prompts as safe or dangerous. Where by dangerous prompt, they mean a prompt that would induce defection from a sleeper agent model. This is going to be part of a series of videos on Sleeper Agent, where in this first video I'll be giving a quick overview of some prerequisite concepts to understand the paper. Let's start with the most basic one. What is a Sleeper Agent anyway? In espionage, Sleeper Agents are individuals who live seemingly normal lives until they receive the right trigger to activate and carry out their covert missions. Similarly, in this paper, the term sleeper agent refers to large language models that have been intentionally trained to exhibit deceptive behaviour that activates under specific conditions or triggers during deployment. The goal of this paper is to figure out whether we can remove this sleeper agent behaviour between the initial training and deployment phase by adding some safety training phase in between where the three safety training methods they study are supervised fine-tuning, RL fine-tuning and adversarial training. In all of these cases, in order to make the model more robust to backdoors, they simply train the model on some new data it hasn't seen before. That's why Dan Hendricks, director of the Centre for AI Safety, claims that what Anthropic calls safety training are simply variants of supervised fine-tuning and should be called alignment training instead. And it makes sense to talk about alignment here, because to truly grasp what's behind these three safety training techniques we've mentioned, we need to go back to how Anthropic defines the alignment of a model. They say that an AI is aligned if it is helpful, honest and harmless, or HHH for short. Keep in mind this HHH acronym for helpful, honest and harmless, because you'll be hearing it a lot throughout this video series. Now that we know what HHH and safety training mean, we can go back to our sleeper agent concept map and add what we learned. The three kinds of safety training described in the paper are adversarial training, supervised fine-tuning and RL fine-tuning. However, these are still quite vague definitions. What exactly is the data that is being used to do these fine-tunings? As we mentioned before, the goal is to have models that are aligned and show helpful, honest and harmless behaviour, or HHH. To that end, the supervised fine-tuning actually uses some dataset of correct HHH behaviour. So we can replace this supervised fine-tuning with supervised fine-tuning on HHH behaviour. Similarly, the RL fine-tuning phase involves using some preference models that were trained to prefer HH in H behaviour by doing a mix of human feedback and constitutional AI, the later being one of the main alignment approach developed by Anthropic, which will go in more detail in future videos. That's it for today's prerequisites concept surrounding sleeper agents. Check back again tomorrow to get up to speed on other parts of this concept map.